I'm Dr. Mark Mesnick. I'm an orthopedist with the Steinle Orthopedic Clinic. I'm going to discuss a procedure called the anteromedialization of the tibial tubercle. What the anterior part implies is that the attachment of the kneecap here is going to be raised anterior, this way, and medial means slightly towards the inside. The tibia is a triangular shaped bone, and if that bone is cut at an angle and then shifted, it's going to raise it up. And this model, I've actually done the cut where cutting from just towards the inner aspect of the tibial crest, the center part, and angling it back to come out the back side here. And then when we do that, if we keep it fixed at the bottom and just shift the bone up like this, you can see how that raises it up. And it also moves it a little bit towards the inside or medial aspect of the tibia. And by raising that up, the tendon insertion then, there's not as much pressure on the kneecap. And then once we do shift that, the nice part about this, there's nice smooth surfaces of the bone that typically heal quite well to each other. That we shift it up and then fix that with three screws that typically would stay in permanently unless they cause problems. The other thing that an anteromedialization can be done for is patella instability. The kneecap is V-shaped and should ride in that groove of the femur. And for some patients, rather than sitting right in the center, their kneecap is tilted and shifted to the outside, or what's called subluxed. What has the best chance is to shift the insertion of the kneecap to the inside. We can do that with that anteromedialization of cutting the bone from just off the crest here and slanting it back. If someone is shifted quite a bit, we make the cut more horizontal, and that results in the tibial tubercle shifting more to the inside when we shift it. If they have more arthritis and we just want to raise it up, we cut it more vertical. So by the direction of the cut that we make on the tibial tubercle, we can adjust how much we raise it up or anteriorize it and how much we move it to the inside or medialize it. The surgery is typically an inpatient surgery. The patients come in that day and get admitted overnight for having an IV for pain control. It is quite a large incision that starts at about the level of the kneecap and extends down to this point, so it is a six to eight inch long incision. We typically close that with staples, but the, the main advantage of the surgery, the main thing we're trying to achieve is to raise up the tibial tubercle there.